Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel and another reaction video. This time we're going to the third episode. Let's see. I have to admit that this might be my favorite intro in any show ever. <laughs> Bandage was either blind or drunk. I think both. <laughs> yeah, who exactly is she? And I'll already get a sense that I'm not at least two. Uh -uh. We found a schedule. So she knows what he's all about, huh? But just how deeply does she know? I feel like another whole lot of her plain screw know what she's doing, so. But okay, I'm intrigued to know who she is. Given how long it's taken to track him, I have wondered if it was a lost cause. Hoping to have you all to myself. Okay, so these two are. Uh, Pretty deep together. <laughs> ah, she's <laughs> it's been <laughs> kind of fun. But yeah, and she's still alive. I mean, I suppose they wouldn't bring him here if she thought he was dead. You promised us score. That I did. And now there's no score. 5,000 pesos of our money is gone. And someone's got to answer for it. I saw you all... Will Jack be able to bullshit his way out of it? Maybe. I mean, he has a way with words, but... I don't know. Money is always money. You will lose a lot. Someone will, will want your head. Where's the rest? Beg pardon? Yoko has a planned stop to take on water. Where's the rest of the course? Well, I can't... Why not? Well, you all seem rather angry with me. Especially you. I mean... Yeah. What's to stop me from killing you anyway? Well... Now, isn't it? We might be friends by then. That's a huge, huge gamble. Good. Sense of another ship. Captain, can we just discuss this? Because Join me outside, Billy. Okay, so Billy doesn't like that fact. That's... This gradual will have no chance of success. As I said. You'll have it. Something uh, telling me that it won't be as easy, but I don't know. She seems capable. You sure he's alright? Billy, he'll be fine. Okay, Billy might cause some problems. Do you know of people who still harbor some anger towards the captain? That makes sense. No. He, he, he would try and he would have his own lads despite the deal with Clint. He's being done. Back to where you started before you brought Mother and myself here. Sit to them that you were. Think on that while you sit here and pretend that helping me isn't the only choice you have. <laughs> Way to put him in his place. We've been online two days. And you still have. Oh, that's the fucking mystery worth investigating. Okay, this guy is here. I was right, wasn't I? Billy's been asking around about us. What do you think? Does he know anything? It was smart. It'll stay that way. <laughs> What's this? Oh, 
Ah. Walking with our friend Randall, my suspicions about our captain. He seems to think we might have... Now that is not... Green screen. <laughs> no. What? This chair once sat in the Plymouth office of one Sir Francis Drake. It's off the coast of Boston. I lost six men in that fight. I ever have my permission to shoot him where he stands. Yes, sir, Captain Hornigold. Hornigold, okay. Interesting. As we tell ourselves, or no matter how many stories we convince ourselves we're part of, we're all just thieves away from a moose. I mean, knowing that Benjamin Hornigold eventually gets the King's pardon and turns on the pirates. But yeah. years at sea, you're the only man I've ever met who's gotten dumber with it. But yeah, so far he, he still fights for the pirate haven dream. But yeah, eventually. What are you doing here? Where's Randall? Me. What is Silver up to? How do you know? Because I had a long conversation with Mr. Turk about his resentment of the captain runs very, very deep. And he's convinced Flint lied about Singleton. Okay, so he's trying to expose the mutiny to get in favor with Flint. Oh, I had no idea about. How dangerous can he be? I mean, if you don't know anything about him, he just might be quite dangerous. Now, I understand congratulations on order. Captaining the Royal... Get up and walk away. Has this got anything to do with that? Massive stash of pearls. You lost. <laughs> <laughs> How many did they give you? To make it right. They weren't specific about time. Duck her looms close. And the first shot is fired and angry. You know exactly what every last man meant. Christ almighty, I wish we had a captain for 30 years younger. Damn, that's... That hits hard. And we definitely got to. Shall we begin? First off, let me express my appreciation to every hear your cowardly fuck of a captain apologize for it. Unlike a moment to confer with one minute and so on. <laughs> Picking a fight and he has to outside. <laughs> Gate has to make some sense. It was my fault. Entirely my fault. I should have been clearer when I prepared you for this meeting. When I said we would need to... I feel good. You? <laughs> I really like Gates. <laughs> 10,000 pounds. That's one my... That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, at this rate, the Urka will get to Cadiz. <laughs> and Wayne hasn't said shit. I was honestly expecting him to cause trouble. <laughs> Deal had a more impartial guarantor. And who did you have in Guthrie for their livelihood? Her father. So 
unless I'm missing something. I didn't know about that. I see. Ever for Rackham to fish out information. And everything we've achieved here goes up in smoke. Now get those glasses look really modern. Uh, um, she didn't escape. You really have to ask. When she threw you aside. And is she gonna team up against Eleanor in some way? I feel like a vein, really. Does feel something for Eleanor, but ah, you never know. Get her on a boat. Captain, this isn't what I meant by three. She won't. Definitely will. Uh, we fall asleep. Will he be able to escape? Mr. and Mrs. Thomas have been looking. Hmm. Well, he was planning to escape, but then he saw the painting about Hamilton, so and decided to go back. Maybe. But yeah, that's definitely gonna come. We can get away somehow. Well, it's up to us. We went down one far. Uh, uh, oh shit. But man, I need you now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Rich men under a new one. No, Flint might be might be happy that I mean he, he distrusts Vince so much so now. But yeah. L less than an episode for the their deal to go to shield thanks to this, but we'll just have to see. I doubt Wayne will let things go. He's gonna come back and cause some issues. You move. You die. <laughs> Damn. Not mo most of them left, but. We could have lived. Could have been free. You didn't do this to me. You did. My actions cost you your purse. Pain. I'm yours. Okay. It looks like she just gave us a ship. I knew Clint was. Ship to know Captain. And fast forward. No. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> ah, this guy. He's gonna confront him, but will he? Condemn him or join him. So, what now? Now he knows what's up. It happened to me. 
Now what will Eleanor do now? Perhaps same thing. What will Max do now? She is. You can sense that she's also plotting something. For the same blow might have struck anyone. Everyone's plotting and every plan goes to shit, but <laughs> will they be successful in uh, stealing the gold? I don't think he liked Barlow to talk with Guthrie. Oh, there we have it, folks. Episode 3. And yeah, the big question is who the hell is uh, Miss Barlow? She really has quite the importance for Flint, and it's the reason why what's his name is so distrusting of. Flint and there he was talking to Billy, so question is will Billy, Billy stay loyal or switch sides or find some in between those two and but yeah it was a funny scene uh, them com coming to an arrangement with uh, I mean Flint and uh, Bain coming to an agreement and <laughs> it was funny how Gates Needed to be the referee trying to keep Flint in check. But yeah, the, at the end of the episode, uh, after finding out that Wayne had Max all along, uh, Eleanor kind of things up. Uh, well, we'll just have to see how big of a fuck up it's gonna be. But I mean, Flint was happy that Wayne was out of the way, and now Gage will be. The captain of the ship. I mean, that was the plan all along, but at that point, the crew, wa crew was slow into vain. But now, after Eleanor speaks, they might be more accepting of uh, Gates as captain, and I think Flint is all for it. But yeah, not all of uh, Vane's crew uh, left, even though some of them even tried, but when clearly once some of them to stay and yeah he, he's gonna not gonna let it go and neither will Max I mean she didn't leave with Eleanor she stayed with with Bain and what is the scene with uh, I mean the uh, Guthrie was there he was he could have escaped or the guard was sleeping and Barlow was talking to whatever pastor, and but then he saw the painting of Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Hamilton, and that seemed to have changed his attitude about captivity. So we'll just have to deal with. We'll just have to find out what's what with that. And yet, at that last scene when he was reading the book. It felt like Guthrie really wanted to be there, I don't know. But then Flint showed up and, I don't know, but Barlow turned really submissive, so. Oh, a whole mess of things happening, I, I don't know what's, what's going on, but I'm very intrigued. Oh yeah, and we met Benjamin Horngold. I was actually super happy to see, and okay, so he, at this time he is, um, He's the guardian of the court that uh, what's over the bay, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna guess that the court has you know big guns, no one dares to challenge him and whatnot. But yeah, you can al already see that he's very experienced. He's uh, what was it, 50 years at sea, so but yeah, he hasn't re received the king's pardon yet, but. Yeah, we na name dropped Francis Drake. I don't remember exactly well, uh, how well historically I mean Hornigold knew Drake, but I know he was uh, was kind of a mentor to Edward Teats and Blackbart and some other others. So it'll be interesting to see if th those will come into play later. And I'm well aware that. 
Blackbeard will appear at some point and he's played by the late Ray Stevenson, so I'm really, really interested to see when that happens. But yes, this, this was a great episode for sure. Oh yeah, John Silver, he's playing his own games as well, but I think he's, he wants to be, you know, a light of flint at this point, so. That was an interesting thing at the end, he saw who they talked with, what's his name, and yeah, a whole lot of scheming, you don't know <laughs> who's gonna step who next, but yeah, that's all that is. Uh, I mean, they're a pirate, so you can't expect too much loyalty. But yeah, anyway, what do you guys think? Write your thoughts down below, hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe if you want, and I will see you in another video. Bye.